Hello all, Retired by Choice back again with another fantastical video. This time it comes to you by the letter A and the number 12. Alright, I have a lot of pickups to go through real quick. Um, this is the fifth time I made this video. Every time I, I'd start making the video, I would, uh, the batteries would die on my, my, my uh, video camera. Uh, one time I even had a SIM card in there, so it didn't <laughs> record nothing. So that's, that's fun. So you'll probably see a lot of quick jumps. Um, um, me call, uh, pulling certain things, um, because there's certain things I am going over and other things I'm not, because I've already recorded them three or four times and didn't want to re 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 record them again. So we're going to try this, okay? Um, so also I want to get this video down to about 10 minutes. <laughs> I buy a lot of stuff, so let's just get started. Uh, first up, I got these over at GameStop on, uh, Wednesday. They're having a sale on all their strategy guides uh, right now. That includes the uh, regular editions, the collector's editions, uh, hardcovers, all that stuff. So I picked up Borderlands 2 strategy guide, the uh, hardcover, collector's edition. Um, got this for $16. It's half off. Right now with me playing Borderlands 2, I could use all the help I can get. Uh, next up, I got for the Xbox 360 Lollipop Chainsaw. I had this on pre-order back uh, about a month or so before it came out and for one reason or another I had to take it off pre-order um, and I never got a chance to, to pick it up since then. So I was down there doing a little shopping. I saw they had it for uh, 34 I got it for 31 with my Power of Rewards card. And I haven't played it yet, so I'm actually trying to get through this first before I tackle any other games. So that's next on my list. Next, we have our new Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo DS. I'm a big fan of the Mario Brothers series, so I had to go ahead and pick this up. And uh, playing this one, it reminds me a lot of the original, uh, except for it's a lot more you can do with it, and it makes it more fun that way. Uh, this is a kind of a reminiscent down memory lane kind of thing. Um, and before I forget, I also have I have a uh, Club Nintendo code that has not been used. I've already registered a copy of this game before, and it won't let me register it again. <coughs> so I have a code that I'm wanting to trade for another code, unused code. So if anyone out there has an unused code, let me know and uh, we can make a deal. They're having a sale on their Sony PSP games. They have a little bin of of games for uh, five dollars or less, and most of them were or less. And uh, while I was there, the guy told me that they're having a promotion where it's buy two get one free. So I, I said okay. So I dug through the little thing for a bit, and I found a couple games. Got me uh, Medieval. I played the original one back on the PS1 days, and I really enjoyed it then. Uh, the real bill, the roller coaster simulation game. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Hot Pixel. This is my free one. I've never heard of it before, don't know what it's about. But for free, I can't go wrong with that. So that's that. Uh, so that was my GameStop. Now these other things I got at uh, thrift stores, uh, Goodwills, Waterfront Missions, things of that nature. Um, Sega GT 2002 got this, but I didn't get this for this. I got this for this. Jet Set Radio Future. And this stylish two-tone case, which actually says limited edition packaging. But this game only goes for about three bucks online, so I don't know how special it is. Or limited it might be, but three bucks. One day I'm, I'm wanting to get the, uh, Jet Set Radio Future by itself, but for now there's a lot to do. Um, I don't know if it came if these uh, these come with, with uh, instruction manuals or not. The the, the two things of one disc thing. I know on 360 they do, but I don't know. Next, I got me a copy of Grand Theft Auto Vice City Strategy Guide. It was only a buck, as far as I can tell. It looks complete. The only thing missing is the three giant size uh, two-sided poster. 
that didn't come with it, but, you know, the guy is 10 years old, I couldn't expect everything to be there, it's just, that'd just be crazy. Uh, let's see, nonetheless, this game right here is fun. On to my next thing. Now, I've been using Craigslist quite a bit lately, so I put up an ad on Craigslist. Um, things have been selling here and there, but I forgot to update the ad, so when I got a phone call the other day from a guy looking for a couple of my 360 games, I was like, I'm sorry, bud, uh, I sold those already, I don't have any more. The guy's like, oh, that sucks, because I have a uh, Nintendo 64 I wanted to trade for a couple of those games. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I, games are gone. And I was like, well, what games do you want, or what are you looking for, and maybe I can find uh, in my collection see if I have those. And he named off a few, I didn't have but one or two of them, and I rattled off the ones I had in my collection that I really didn't care about trading off. And so we made a deal. Uh, he picked four games that I want, that, ha that I had, and he uh, gave me his 64. So, so I got another Nintendo 64. This one didn't come with the video cords. Um, no big deal. Like I said, I already have a uh, 64 that works. So I wasn't buying it for that. Um, I was buying it for the games. It came, came with nine games. It also came with another uh, Atomic Purple controller. This is the second one I got from the two systems I bought. In. Bought or bought. Botten, bot, bot. Um, then I got a memory card, uh, and I got nine games. Now these next, the first five I'm looking to trade. I don't want them. I'll never play them. So if anyone wants them, wants to trade, I'm looking for more 64 games, preferably Mario 64, uh, Mario Party, uh, or any Zelda game. Uh, actually, any Zelda game for 64, GameCube, or DS, because they remind me of my childhood. Uh, the, the ones I'm going to show right now, I'm looking to trade. Uh, I'm, I'm, I will later on down the road make a proper uh, trade video, but for right now, I'm just doing an update. So, first one is Ken Griffey Major League Baseball. It's in really bad shape. It's got Hollywood video stickers all over it. Um, it's got some kind of sticker here on top that faded and whatnot. It's got, looks like it says Angus on the back, and JJ or TT, but it doesn't matter because it says property of Hollywood Video and it's been branded into the back of this cartridge. So, um, if no one wants this, I'll just toss it in the garbage. Uh, but if someone wants to trade for it, fantastic. Um, next up, Xena, Warrior Princess. I'm willing to trade that for something. Uh, Wayne Gretzky, 3D Hockey. <coughs> Um, I'm indifferent. I like hockey, but um, not a fan of Wayne Gretzky. So if someone wants this, I'll trade it. But if not, I'll keep it. And then the next two, I really hope someone wants. Uh, WCW, ECW, Revenge. And it looks like this was also owned by either JJ or TT. And it could have been written on the back as well. WWF, Warzone. So that's for trade. I don't want... These five, if you want to want some, PM me, we'll arrange something. Now the next four are ones I want to keep. Uh, Fighting Force 64. This is one that if someone really wants it and can offer up a good deal, I'll, I'll trade it. Um, cause I'm, I played Fighting Force before, I think for the PS1, and I really didn't really care for it that much. It's just my game collection is very small. The only thing that sucks is it has a property of Blockbuster sticker all on the back, top, and the front. And this thing goes, I mean literally, from the edge of the sticker down here all the way up around and you got all the way down the back sticker. So, it'd just be a plain copy. It wouldn't be a collector thing. Next, I have uh, Diddy Kong Racing. I also got Donkey Kong 64 and Snowboard Kids. So these four I'm keeping, these five I'm trading. Uh, oh, one more thing. Got some uh, games from the Goodwill. 
in the well, actually, I'm sorry. I got some games from the waterfront mission in Fort Walton Beach. First one I got was a Super Nintendo game, Spawn. I've never played it, but I'm a fan of Spawn. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a uh, Super NES to play this on yet, so um, maybe trade. I don't know. Killer Instinct for the Super Nintendo also. Uh, again, like I said, I don't have a Super Nintendo, so I have no way of testing them or playing them. So I'm not really looking to keep them. Maybe someone wants to offer me something. Um, I mean, I'll trade them for it. Uh, the next two things were also at the Waterfront Mission, and they came packaged in uh, groups of two NES games. They were grouped together, taped together with masking tape, so when I separated them, I, I was very careful to make sure that nothing came up or off, which was astonishing, really. But I was able to get them off, no problem. Uh, they were only $3 for the two games, so I thought that was pretty decent. Uh, the first one is Techno Bowl. Not a fan of the Techno Bowl series, or the, the Techno series, but uh, that's not why I bought it. So this is for, up for trade also. Uh, the, why, the reason I bought that grouping was because it came with 720, which is one of my favorite games on the NES of all time. I played this game probably hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. And the next grouping, a game called Star Voyager. Never heard of it. Don't know if it's any good. But it was bundled with another game I wanted to get, which was Top Gun. Now, many, many, many kids from my generation who grew up with NES will remember how insanely difficult this game was. I had never had so much trouble landing on aircraft carrier before in my life, but I did on this one. This game was just insanely insane, but memories. So, I got those. And the last thing I got, it is a uh, NES game that's still in the box. Um... It is Power Golf with Greg Norman. I'm not a fan of golfing games. I don't play golf. I don't enjoy golf. But this is actually the first game I've seen since the early 90s that came with the, the actual box that I found out in the wild. So I just picked it up. It was only $7. And I couldn't find out it's not worth $7. Um, if I had everything with it, it would be, but it's not. Um, I'm missing the plastic sleeve, I'm missing the instruction manual, and any inserts that may come with this. Um, strangely enough, it came with a star phone. So, go figure, right? So that's my finds. Um, nothing else really to, uh, to report. That's it. Um, I may be slowing down on my pickup videos only because I don't know if I'm going to be able to find as many things like this as I uh, had this last uh, week or two. So I'm going to try to supplement my videos with um, another idea. I'm not quite yet ready to divulge what the idea may be, but I will definitely be putting something on here tomorrow announcing what it is. So keep an eye out for that. And that's it, I believe. I don't know else to really record. Alright, so. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Uh, comment down below. Also, if you want, rate the video. Like, dislike, either way is fine. Um, and always remember, not by nature, retired by choice. Peace!